Hi, and welcome to the section of the Physics 3 Tutor in our discussion and journey and learning about electricity and magnetism. In this section, we're going to begin to learn about some really core topics of all of ENM that you'll study, and that's the topic of Gauss's Law. But before we actually get to Gauss's Law, I want to give you a little bit of motivation, give you a little bit of a pick-me-up to tell you where we're going in the, in the course and in your study of physics. Uh, basically, you're bathed every day of your life in electric fields and magnetic fields. They're coming from the lights, they're uh, coming from all of the radio waves hitting you, things coming from outer space, all of those gamma ray bursts you hear about, the astronomers talking about, all that stuff is really an electromagnetic wave uh, with different wavelengths. The microwave that you use in your house to cook your food, uh, you know, you can just, the list goes on and on and on. So you're bathed in this stuff every day of the week. So you know, or you've been exposed to electricity and magnetism all of your life. Now, it turns out that, you know, a couple hundred years ago when they were really refining the laws of how electricity behaves and how magnetism works and these things, they uh, put together, Mr. Maxwell put together uh, what we call Maxwell's equations. You probably heard those. Maxwell's equations rank right up there with, with Einstein's theory of relativity and Newton's laws of motion as one of the real cornerstones of physics. And because of that, of engineering, and because of that, of, of everything that we really, really do. All of the developments of radio and all of that stuff really came about and were enabled because of Maxwell's equations. So it turns out that all of these complicated phenomena that you've been exposed to all of your life, all of the waves and all of the, uh, you know, the, the way that motors spin when you, when you put a current in a motor and there's a magnetic field in there and it begins to turn, all of that stuff is governed by Maxwell's equations. They're the four uh, cornerstone equations Everything else uh, really is derived from them. So they're very, very important. And I'm not going to write them all down on the board here because this section we're not really trying to talk about all four of Maxwell's equations. We're going to talk about just one of them, and that's Gauss's Law. So that's where we're going with this. We're starting a journey where we're going to talk and, and we're, going to, we're going to talk about Gauss's Law, and then we're going to take a little bit of a detour and talk about a few other things that kind of come from it. Then we're going to go and talk about the other Maxwell's equations. And at the end of all of this Physics 3 stuff, at the end of probably the next volume in the series, because it's quite a bit of material here, uh, we'll be able to write all four of Maxwell's equations on the board, and you'll be able to see with your own eyes the beauty and the symmetry that's behind them. And they're very elegant in the way in which they're written. They're very simple looking, too, but it turns out that that's just deception um, with your eyes there. So you can uh, derive all of the uh, equations of how electricity and magnetism behaves from Maxwell's equations. For instance, just one motivation, Coulomb's Law that we talked about right in the beginning of this course. It was the very first thing we talked about, Coulomb's Law. Coulomb's Law comes from Maxwell's equations. Specifically, Coulomb's Law uh, eventually comes from uh, Gauss's Law. You can derive it from Gauss's Law. So the, the Maxwell's equations are really the core fundamental, uh, how, how should I say, the top level equations, all the other stuff that comes from it, all of the force laws and the you know, we'll learn about all kinds of little things that you can derive for electricity and magnetism, but ultimately they all really come from Maxwell's equations. So those are the cornerstone equations. So really briefly, just because I'm going to give you a little bit of motivation before we dive into this, there are four of what we call Maxwell's equations. And they're absolutely central to physics. Uh, and they're in no particular order. It's not really that any one of these equations are any more important than any, other, uh, any of the others. All four of them are required to totally describe electricity and magnetism. So in no particular order, we have what we call the electric. Whoops, can't spell electric. Gauss's Law. All right, the electric Gauss's law. By the way, that's what we're going to study today. We'll go into this whole lecture about this, but that's number one on the board here. And then we have what we call the magnetic Gauss's law. We'll study that quite a bit later. Uh, the third one is Ampere's law. You might have heard the word ampere before because when you say something like, oh, I have a 20 amp circuit breaker, I have a 15 amps running in my wire, that's an ampere, it's a unit of current. We'll talk about all that stuff a little bit later. Ampere's law, uh, number four, is Faraday's law of induction.
All right, so these are what we call Maxwell's equations. You don't really have to memorize them. We're going to learn them uh, in, in intimate detail that by the end of, of all of this physics stuff, you'll be able to write them by memory. And by the way, there are many different ways to actually write the equations, different uh, ways in which to write them down. We'll talk about that as well. So we're going to focus on the Gauss's law for electric, uh, electricity or electric fields. Further on down the line, we'll uh, write all of these down and we'll solve a ton of problems dealing with the rest of these guys. And at the end of the course, we'll actually put them all together and all four of them are needed to derive, the to, to understand, I should say, the wave motion of electric uh, electromagnetism. So you have the electric field we're talking about here. We haven't talked anything about magnetism. We're just talking about electricity, uh, electric field here. Later on, we'll talk about the magnetic field. You've all played with magnets. You kind of know what that is, right? But when you put them 